In our previous vlog, we explored the Batman building and Manila Street in Singapore. And this time, we are going to explore Singapore's Chinatown. But before anything else, let me introduce myself. It's me again, the winner, your travel and lifestyle vlogger, giving you a list of your travel itineraries which you can truly enjoy. Also, don't forget to support this channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. And follow my online travel articles in Manila Bulletin Lifestyle. So guys, if you're visiting Chinatown here in Singapore, look for Pagoda Street. But of course, you have to drop off or alight at Chinatown Station or Chinatown MRT Station. So we're looking now for Pagoda Street. Okay, it says we have to exit at Exit A. So this is Chinatown and as you can see, the MRT subway station is connected to it making it very accessible to tourists. As you reach the end of the escalator, you will be greeted by the colorful Singapore shop houses making this place truly vibrant and energizing to look at even after a long walk of exploration. The rich history and vibrancy of this place makes it one of the must-visit places when in Singapore from checking out stuff of what to buy inside shop houses to oriental food exploration, there will be no dull moments when in Singapore's Chinatown. So guys, finally we're here at Chinatown. So this is another tourist spot that is a must visit here in Singapore. So if you're looking for um, some pasalubong, you know, that's the Filipino term for uh, the things you would like to bring home, uh, back to your home country when you go on vacation, give it to your friends and loved ones, then this place is the place to be to buy pasalubong. There's a lot of things you can actually do here. Uh, there's also a lot of pubs and restaurants, okay? And basically, the street that we're passing by right now, okay, this street is actually Pagoda Street. Okay, so there's a lot of tourists right now. You know, this is our first time to be here at this time. And it's so nice to see the Chinatown in full colors with all of the lightings that they have. And of course, those painted Singaporean houses or shop houses. If you want to explore ancient Indian culture, then our next stop is Shiri Mariaman Temple. The oldest Hindu temple in Singapore located at the end corner of Pagoda Street, which is ironically in the area of Chinatown. This Hindu temple being the area of Chinatown is a testament of the respect of Singaporeans in their very diverse people and culture. Unfortunately, the facade of this Hindu temple, which makes it eye-catching and picture-worthy, is currently under restoration at the time of our visit. So perhaps we'll see it on our next visit in this place. Now let's have a walking tour in this district and have a glimpse of Chinatown's day-to-day -day hustle and bustle.
So guys, um, I got a surprise because when we went here back in 2017, there's a lot of people here. But right now, it seems that there's less people in this side especially. Okay, And there are some shops which is not open like before. So we're really surprised, you know, maybe it's because of the pandemic. Okay, but still, of course, this is another tourist spot that you shouldn't miss when you visit Singapore. We explored the other side of Chinatown, passing through this Chinese pagoda-inspired overpass. And let me give you another walking tour with its real sound and let me know in the comment if you like this kind of vlogs where you hear the actual sound of the place I'm visiting in my travel vlogs. So let's begin. There are so many Chinatowns in different parts of the world and I'm happy to visit my second Chinatown country adventure after the oldest Chinatown located in Manila, Philippines where I live. On our next vlog, we are going to taste local Singapore and Chinese food in Chinatown so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because here, you're the winner. <laughs>